Let's ultrasound. On today's edition of Breast Ultrasound, we're diving back into the Breast Ultrasound Pathology Gallery and discovering the many faces of PASH. PASH or pseudoangiomatous stromal hyperplasia is a benign overgrowth of stroma in the breast. And just as a review, the stroma is the supportive tissue of the breast. This is the fatty and the connective tissue of the breast. PASH loves to mimic the appearance of other breast masses. It's a hormonally responsive mass, usually occurring in women of reproductive age, and commonly is discovered on mammogram as an area of new, increasing, and or developing density. And it can reoccur after surgical excision if it's not completely excised, and 15 to 25% of these reoccur. It's also important to note that PASH can also occur in men, and this can be found concurrently with gynecomastia tissue. And PASH has such an unusual appearance due to the presence of fibrous stroma, fat, and or cystic spaces within the tissue. It most commonly presents as a firm, painless, palpable lump, or is discovered on a mammogram and the patient is asymptomatic. And this can commonly be found with other benign masses upon biopsy, such as gynecomastia, fibrocystic changes, a fibroadenoma, etc. And it may be surgically excised because it can keep growing, which can mask normal breast tissue. So what I want you to take away from the ultrasound appearance of PASH is that it's extremely highly variable, meaning it can look like anything and it loves to mimic other types of pathology. It can appear as a heterogeneous isoechoic mass, which is often a subtle mass. It may appear as a patch of distinct glandular tissue on ultrasound that looks just slightly different than the surrounding tissue. It may appear as a hypoechoic mass with a similar appearance to a fibroadenoma. It may or may not have internal vascularity. It may or may not have internal cystic spaces. The most common ultrasound appearance is a patch of unusual appearing glandular tissue. And this unusual appearing glandular tissue can have very subtle differences from the tissue around it. So the best way to find PASH is to compare the ultrasound with the mammogram and get a location of where you're looking so that you have a better chance of locating this subtle patch of tissue. Although sometimes it appears as a mass on ultrasound and so it's more readily visible. On a mammogram image, PASH appears as a distinct area of tissue on a mammogram. Most commonly, it's a patch of tissue that is either new or it's increasing or developing over time. And PASH can be very distinct and mass-like, or it can have more subtle characteristics. Before looking for PASH on a breast ultrasound, it's incredibly helpful to have the mammogram findings so that you know the location of the PASH and can correlate that with the ultrasound. Because unless it looks distinctly like a mass on ultrasound, it can be really hard to locate and it's very easy to scan past it and miss it on a breast ultrasound. The reason I titled this video, The Many Faces of PASH, is because of this slide. These are all the various presentations of PASH that I've seen over the years. And as you can see, there's a highly variable appearance on the ultrasound, from a hypoechoic mass that looks more like a fibroadenoma, all the way to just a patch of benign appearing glandular tissue. Although the most consistent appearance on these ultrasound images is a patch of breast tissue that just looks subtly different. As you can see from these pictures, PASH may or may not have internal cystic spaces and may also have internal vascularity. All of these cases came back PASH from biopsy, but some of them there was concurrent pathology found at the same time, such as a fibroadenoma or other common benign breast pathologies. Mm -hmm. 